Hello. I'm much grateful to Facebook, uh, social media, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, for, uh, to be there for us 24 hours. There seems to be a spirit here. He's making more sounds today. Uh, once something on the dining table, now something in the kitchen area. He is, and uh, once I was told here that uh, he, his name is Saad. So he's a Muslim and he's a spirit. He must leave me. I cannot take this. I'm calling out to my principal. Uh, even when I was in Karachi, these uh, uh, men came to help me. Sayyid Yusuf Zaidi, uh, Sikandar Shah, and Arbab Shah. Sikandar Shah was from uh, the Maiman clan. He believed in uh, uh, Ghazpak, the peer. And he had this power to take out spirits and know about them. He told me that a Muslim lady's spirit was attached to me. It hurt me a lot that day when he tried to remove it. I was asleep. And then when he came later, he asked me if I felt anything. And I said, I felt lots of pain I've never felt before. So it continued. He said he removed it, but it kept on going. Once I felt that I was going to die, they were going to electrocute me, like that, you know, like currents of electricity. And my teeth were like grinded. But uh, since I've come to Dubai, it stopped. I ran, I ran looking for a, a Hindu who could help me. And then I found this Hindu temple. So since I've been wearing uh, the thread they gave, him, gave me, I had to ask them to give me something. Thank God they gave me the thread. And they told me, don't worry, our gods will help you. And even in London, thank God for Mr. Gupta, such a wise person. I could not think that anyone in London would harass me while working there in the college for admissions. He asked uh, uh, the receptionist to take care of me while we were in the annex. He said, uh, John, take care. And he told me that if anyone any gives you any trouble, just complain to John or myself, I'm here. And John was nearer. He was on the ground floor. So what a wise man. I could not think that anyone in London would uh, be troubling me. But there were some Pakistani students there. And this Farhan, who started to work, uh, with me in this admissions. Thank God he was kept in that reception area and not with us ladies in the annex. I am so much, much grateful thinking of uh, Mr. Raj Gupta and this Pakistani boy, junior student, junior to me has uh, read my palm and told me that uh, uh, I have, uh, what? It shows that my lines have uh, some gayish tendencies, uh, gay. And I said, I haven't done anything. And he said, uh, maybe uh, in the future you will do something. The, these people are very clever. Because, you know, his teacher who could read palms and have this, had this uh, gift, gave it to him. 
what not he's told me and then he's also told me that uh, my teacher has told me that if I give wrong information uh, this gift will be taken away from me he had glasses on like Atik had and he even looked like him a bit his father sorry his father please don't his father Atik long time back go back and remember his father Atik and he told me that uh, my principal looking at my hand I got this uh, thing for my principal no no he could tell about my principal did I give him my principal's date of birth oh my god he told me that uh, the principal has a daughter from she doesn't have a daughter so now we are uh, thinking I'm thinking how can it be he's wrong about this lesbian thing but he's telling me this line goes down so God knows what principal doesn't have a daughter and then he's told me uh, that God forbid her eyes are weak and she could go blind in her old age God forbid and then when I've met the principal I've told her take care of your eyes so and all the wrong information is given me so I'm thinking maybe the couple are you saying that husband and wife have a daughter maybe her husband has married someone and has a daughter from another wife he's hidden <laughs> Then, when he started working in, for admissions in Holborn College with me, he's, uh, what he's done is, uh, this lawyer uh, who was doing LLM in London, from LSC, I think, he was coming to Holborn College sometimes for some lectures. Uh, what's his name? Saleh. Saleh Rai. Muhammad Azam, Rai Azam something. So he had bought this picture for me painting. It was in the uh, shopping bag. I'd kept it on the carpet on the floor. What he did, this other person, Farhan, he came, I mean he was standing there. He came and he started to uh, put his foot on my shopping bag and he started to kind of, you know, do, move his uh, foot on it. And I'm looking from afar and I'm so shocked. Uh, I thought maybe he's giving me a sign or something that this lawyer, this person who's given me this gift is a bad person. Actually, I didn't want the gift and I, uh, he forced it. He, I, I didn't want any gift from him. So can you see this, what, this cleverness? Maybe ISI is involved. Pakistan spies are involved here. And there was a Atika, Atika, Atika in St. Joseph's College when I joined. She was senior. She looked like Atik. As much as I hate uh, remembering him and his name, please, it makes me very sick. God, embrace me. God, come. Lord, I don't want to, his face, I don't want to remember. Uh, he's a very, very bad person. They are cunning. Some of these Pakistanis, I was dying now in this headache. I've thrown up and uh, now it's better. I think uh, uh, University of London, Wolverhampton, I don't know if he was doing internal or external, this Faran person. And Yusuf Zaidi asked me when he was going to London if uh, someone could help him. He's taken Mr. Gupta's number from me and this Farhan's number. It's in my black diary 
but it's in Karachi and my father's thrown everything away. So I don't know how to, uh, this Farhan guy, he said that he wasn't uh, receiving his calls. Hello, listen, you force, you can't make me do this because we are not sure. There's no evidence that Farhan is Atik's son. I am, one must investigate. Your, you want me to look mad or what? I'm really sorry about this, people. Uh, I don't know. Uh, the, Farhan was, uh, whoever he was, he looked a bit like Atik or uh, Atik or that, uh, you know, the friends of uh, some uh, Masuma. Huh? And do you know uh, these Pakistanis, even in London, they have a way of uh, uh, doing corruption. They know how to use the uh, coin of phone. Uh, you will never hear this from anyone but Pakistanis. How to you? Uh, we've lived there in my childhood and uh, haven't learned this, you know? How to use the, I don't know how they stick the coin in or the card in, and uh, then they talk more for m more than the card. <laughs> they, I don't know how they do these things. And one of uh, these Pakistanis could have gotten me into trouble. They didn't want to, they said they don't buy the ticket, train ticket, tube ticket. And there, the uh, other station where we w uh, were going out from, uh, they, uh, the police came and caught us. And it was so embarrassing for me. Uh, you know, it was really embarrassing. I had told them I don't want to do this, use uh, the tube without a uh, ticket. And uh, I don't know about others, but I've only heard this from Pakistanis. Pakistanis, only Pakistanis do this in London.